Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Uncle Karius. Where are all these slimes coming from? Uh, last time we left off, we were turned into a fish. And now we're forced to be watched by fish. But yeah, we're going to start this episode off by making some battle rod stuff. Let me look how much hellstone I have. Because I went to go get hellstone. Okay, we got six. I don't think that's enough. Because I, I went to go get hellstone to upgrade this a couple episodes back. And... I do really want to make something specifically out of hellstone, so we might do that in the beginning of this episode, maybe. But first, let's look at something here. What are we going to look at? We're going to pull up the Battle Rods mod, and we're going to look at some lures and stuff, what we can make. We got Urgency Bob Speeder. What are the health of after the Bob moves? Seems kind of useless, honestly. Don't. No, I'm speaking like this. Uh, crate calling hook, 5% chance for the enemy dropping a crate on kill. That's interesting. Increase fishing damage based on player altitude. Okay. Hook set. I definitely want to make that hook set eventually. Actually, yeah, let me... Can you kill that guy? All right. Um, super barbed hook. Crit. Dang, that's pretty good. Oh. Take it back. Wait, we can get that. We could totally get that. I don't know if my pickaxe power is high enough, though. But we could totally get that. If I find where the... Oh. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> Come on, dude. All right, all right. I had to cut because I had to alt-tab out of the game to fix my map. All right. If we could find where the jungle temple is, we could uh, glitch into it and try and get the wooden spikes. And by doing that, we... Uh, Never mind. Take it back. Take it back. But, I mean, it'd still be OP to have. Barbed hook. Need regular spikes. Shit. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was bobber damage when stuck in a worm enemy. That don't matter. I think we should... I don't know. Should we go for this? I've had other people tell me different things. People tell me that the, the hook, when you get the battle rod hook on something with the, like, double lure or extra lure... The damage splits up and then other people told me the damage doesn't split up i don't know who to trust i doubt the person who said both of those things know what they're talking about but kill the song but we're just gonna do it anyways all right well actually let me look at lures i'm just gonna type in lures in general because we don't have a lot of hooks to begin with we got three and we don't have a uh, mechanic yet so i can't just farm hooks so these ones obviously can't make yet what the fuck is that we could go i don't know let's see here let's go for double first let's go for double or let's just make a lure wait do how do you make it okay so you do need to oh we can make the omni lure forces only one lure but with 15 percent more damage yo fuck it we're just gonna make that <laughs> never mind about everything else i was talking about we're just gonna make that let's get rid of uh the metronome I don't have space. The metronome's so broken too, you can't right click it with anything. Okay, how do you make lightning? How do you make specter? I need rockets. All right, let's uh, let's get deal with that first. I swear to God, my aim with this thing is terrible. Let's deal with that first. Suck the goblin. This is just so I can clear up some space. Billy, my boy, what's up? Oh, I gotta go under go underground. So Juice told me in the comments of the last video. Uh, that the sapling actually scales with their fishing power, like the rod you're using, which is really cool. Let me open that and then sell whatever is in it. Okay. We're going to buy your rocket boots and then we're going to not reforge anything because we don't need to. And then let's go ahead. Let's shove this in here. Okay. Let's take two things out so we can shove that in there and this in there. And let's make the specter boots, not rocker, rocket boots. Oh. We can make look. We can make a fish thing already. Should I make it now? We're gonna hold down the aquarium because they probably want me. These two probably want me to uh, have a nice area to display the fish. Cause catching them and then just placing them somewhere. Oh, that's easy. I could do that easily. But they want me to have a nice place where they're gonna. They're not gonna be too happy if I just have a bummy ass place for all the fish. But yeah, back to what we we're doing. Lightning boots. We make lightning boots from this, right? So what we need an anklet. 
Oh my god, I have no space at all. We need an anklet. Not an anklet, we need an aglet. I can't spell aglet. There you go. Uh, make it out of iron. There you go. And now we should be able to make lightning boots. Boom, bada, boom. We're looking good. I'm not even going to touch the reforge. Let's go ahead and put the omni lure on. We don't need this. I'm not going to use it. Oh, shit. Okay, no, we're good. Oh, no, we're not. We're still going to have a space open. God damn it. Uh, I don't know. There's got to be something I can get rid of. There's got to be something. This heart. Place it at spawn. Okay. Good. I don't know. I'm having a lot of inventory problems. I got to figure out how to make more space. Yo, we have two hearts already. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to reforce some stuff. Then I'll meet you guys underground. We're going to do some fishing. And uh, we'll probably end up going to hell too. Find a good spot to fish. So, let's go ahead and whip out our boy here. And, uh, oh, which one has more power? Pretty sure the meteor one has higher power than, uh, the Uncle Karius one, at least right now, because we haven't really fought too many vanilla bosses. But we're working on it. We're going to fight a boss this episode. I promise you that. It's probably going to be the split mod boss. The one that's called the spirit, I think. I don't know. I'd look right now, but I'm focus on fishing. Cough it up. Let me catch a fish. What the fuck? Is my bobber going to move? That shit ain't moving. That shit are. Oh, there you go. Underground. We're underground. At least it looks like we're underground. Uh, I don't know. This looks underground to me. This looks like a cave to me. We gotta catch it. Alright, hold up. We're having problems here. Let me fix these problems. We're gonna make a platform. Because that seems like the easiest way to fish with him on your back or her or it, whatever. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's how I place blocks. Dude, you're bothering me. Get out of here. We got one right here. We got one down there somewhere. Oh, we caught it. Alright, catch some more just because I feel like it. Oh, look at that. We're crossing the lines. We shouldn't do that. Alright, that's it. No, no, no. That's it. No, 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 no. Let's head back up real quick. Give this to him. And then we will continue. Let me just open all these. Don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. Drink that. Drink that. And then we'll sell it. Everything else can go in there. This doesn't even have a space. All right, I'll meet you guys in hell. Here we are in beautiful, hot hell. At least it's hot down here, man. If you're like cold in Terraria, if you really wanted to, you can go to hell. It would be really quick. I can't see where the lava is because there's body parts there. <laughs> can these move, please? Thank you. Okay, we're good if we stand right here. We are perfectly fine right here. Just mine as much as I can. Oh my god. He wouldn't fly. Okay, there you go. We gotta find some easy stone to get. Here we go. This looks pretty easy to get. Get out of here, imp boy. Imagine being called an imp boy. Imagine being called an imp. Imp. That's stupid. <laughs> Imagine like... I don't know, the creator of Terraria. I'm not talking about the real creator. I'm talking about, like, in-game. Like, I don't know, I Cthulhu. Is he, like, the god figure of Terraria? Not I Cthulhu. Cthulhu himself. It's like, he's, like, thinking of what to name this enemy. And he's, like, Imp. Yeah. What a bad name. <laughs> All right, this feels like enough. I don't know. I feel like we can get a little bit more. Look at the plays. Only a Terraria Pro would know how to do that, right? That's right, it's me, Gamers One One, the Terraria Pro. Best Terraria speedrunner, as you can tell by my like Twitch description. Because it has Terraria speedrunning as one of the categories. But uh, let's head back home. We got pretty much everything we need. A lot more than everything we need. What the heck? Uh, let's make some Hellstone, because we're trying to make the Hellstone Battle Rod. Damn, 30 bars? Looking good right there. Sucks that's the highest upgrade we can go to in uh, pre-hard mode. Is the Hellstone upgrade for those? Because I think the next one's hollowed. I think. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. It's possible. Let's see here. So this does almost 100 damage per tick. That's pretty crazy. We are skipping a dungeon one and the jungle one. So sadly, we won't be seeing those ones. But don't be, don't be too sad. All right, let's make this. I think that's what I was doing. 
Okay, yeah, there it is. Hellstone Battle Rod. So it's weird right now. Um, what's weird? I did that jump cut because I got a call on my phone. If you guys didn't know, I work at. Well, I guess I don't, I don't know if I said it out loud during the live stream. I said I worked at Ross because I just got a job there, and I worked there like two days already. No, I think it was only like my first day there, and they're over here fucking my schedule up already. I was like, bitch, I almost got fired just like that jump cut I did. They said that they haven't given me a schedule and they haven't showed me how to access my schedule. So I talked to the manager. One of the managers there. You know how there's multiple managers. The manager to fill in if the you no know, regular manager is in there. I talked to her and she was like, yeah, come in Tuesday. And I worked on Friday, which I'm supposed to have off, by the way. Which that's what I put on my like original like signing up thing. And they said, come in Tuesday. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'll come in Tuesday because that's what you told me. Apparently, I was supposed to work Saturday and Monday. Today's Sunday. No, today's Monday. I've been off for the last three days. And I got a call from the like actual manager. And they're like, do you want to quit your job already? And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> and they're like, you didn't come in for two days today. And uh, well, she asked me, like, can you come in today? I'm like, no, I'm not ready to come in today. And then she asked me, like, am I quitting I said no I didn't know that I was scheduled for today the person I asked told me I was scheduled for Tuesday I'm out here trying to get fired I'm not even trying to get fired they're the one confusing me I'm gonna let you guys know right now more than likely no person from Ross will ever watch my video I'm not gonna tell fucking random people at Ross that I make YouTube videos of the hell kind of shit is that that's like telling telling like your fucking sister you're a porn star I don't know but I don't fuck with Ross. <laughs> I don't like it there. I only uh, accepted to get hired there or wanted to get hired by them was because, you know, to get a job. Ooh, sighted's pretty good. That's almost 100 damage. We'll keep it at that. Because I don't want to be using a lot of gold. But it kind of sucks there. Working, I used to work at Target. If some of you know, I used to work at Target. There's a big difference between Target and Ross. Target's organized. Ross is like, feels like I'm an undercover uh, underground organization selling stuff for cheap. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? But there's my, there's my IRL section of the day. So we're gonna fight this boss from the spirit mod. No, from the split mod. Sorry. And it's this, the spirit. Split mod, the spirit. And we need a locket. Is that what that said? I think it's what it said. Shadow locket. Which we need a, a chain. How do I not have a chain? No, we can get a chain pretty easily. Right here. Boom. Easy work. Hopefully this boss is easy. Do we fight it at night? At night time. Oh shit, what time of night is it? <laughs> That's not good. Hang up this banner real quick. Real quick. There you go. And then just shove this in here. Make the locket. demon altar shit okay um now it's really bad because now there's definitely no chance we can fight it before nighttime ends diamond how many diamonds was it was it one or was it two was it i had two or yeah okay i had two in there and then let's get the chain go back up boy back up boys s s zombie boys i was gonna say skeleton boys oh my map is messed up again but when that happens yeah, we probably won't have enough time to fight him tonight. So give me like 20 minutes off camera. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna fight the spirit here. Hopefully we don't die. That's really it, that's all I got. That's my prayers right there. He spawned over there. Is he coming over here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is he gonna come over here? Hey, oh my God, that dude got one tap. So, is it going to be one of those things where I get robbed? Oh, I'm back home. I don't know what just happened. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight him. <laughs> He's stuck down here. If I go down here, I'm definitely going to have a disadvantage. Now he wants to teleport up here? Good. I was about to fucking get pissed. I was going to have to cheat because I got cheated out of fighting him. Stop! Hit him with the goddamn fishing rod, dude. What are you doing? He keeps teleporting away. Do I do 100 a hit? Almost 100 to hit. Pretty much 100 to hit. He's getting his ass beat. That's all I know. He looks really cool, though. 
Props to the split mod, always having the coolest sprites. They're not the only ones with cool sprites, but they got really cool sprites for their enemies and bosses. Maybe not their weaponry, I don't know, I haven't really seen much of their weaponry. This boss is really easy though. That's it? Who the hell are you? Did I talk to you? What's up, girl? Damn, Transmitter, you can't break down right now. What? What are you? What are you? Why are you doing this? Unless, wait a second. Are you pointing at me? It's nice to point. Ah, uh, of course. I don't want to roleplay right now. You must be the man that Genoshi tell me about. Genoshi? Yoshi? But because of you, my transmitter broke. My god, I think I'm stuck here for a long time. You have an idea what problems can arise if they find out about my disappearance? Although it is partly my fault, need to stop responding to all calls in a row. If they find out that I attacked one of the students, I'm a student? I'm a fucking fish. What are you talking about? Well, here's the deal. I will try to fix my transmitter as soon as possible, but until then, try not to get into any trouble, okay? I'm sorry for this complicated situation. You bitch, you attacked me. Well, I wanted to fight you. But you were listed as a boss, so you can't blame me for that. <laughs> Alright, interesting. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. It, like we should have just had a conversation or well, less of a conversation she just talked to me but uh you know whatever it's fine yo she gives you all the elements we can finally make the crab cannon there's no way we don't have a thousand we have to have a thousand we just need a crab shell and illegal gun parts don't know how to get illegal gun parts i'll be honest sir we'll sell these strange brews they're kind of useless i never really use them i don't know Maybe in a mage playthrough I use them, but I think the the restoration ones are better. The one that's the pink the pink potions, I think those are way better. We also got a safe bottle. As you collect hearts in the bottle and use them later to restore health. In interesting, very interesting. I don't, I don't know how that works because enemies don't drop hearts unless you're missing hearts. Uh, the stone of inspiration can be placed. So this is what the skull hearts you saw. Can be placed. Can be used as a Demon slash crimson altar. Yo, that's exactly what we need. What the heck? That's perfect. All right, sweet. Let me hold on to those. Actually, we'll put the skull heart in here. Let's make a demon altar. God, I really need to fix this inventory stuff, dude. This is terrible. All right. I already forgot the name of it. Oh, God. What was the name of it? I don't know. <laughs> See, I always forget the name of things. Boom. Stone of Inspiration. How can I forget a name like Stone of Inspiration, right? Boom, bada, bing. There it is. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it by placing it. Oh, it's not animated. I mean, it still looks cool. Well, actually, it might be a little animated. Is that animated? Animated about Nah, I don't know. Let's just place it down. Boom, bada, bing. We got a demon altar on deck, which is always nice to have. I really want to test out... The uh, safe bottle, but I, I don't know how. Without losing health. Here, hit me a couple times. It's not even that easy to do, even if you do lose health. You have to fight, like, certain minion enemies to get some hearts. I don't know. We're gonna... I'm gonna look into if I can make any more battle rod stuff. If not, we might just end the episode off in a second. Yeah, I really don't know what to make right now. I'm... I feel pestered. Is that a good way to use that word? I don't even know what that word means. It just sounded like I could use that word. I feel pestered because I can't make the, uh, what the fuck is it called? I can't, no, not even make anything. I can't store anything in my goddamn chest. So we're going to do something here. We have 30% fishing power. We're going down to lava and we're going to fish up some stuff. And one of the things I want to fish up is that obsidian swordfish, which is one of my favorite looking vanilla terrier weapons maybe not favorite in general but i still like it i never really get to use it so i'm gonna try my best to use it right now that guy gives you a debuff when he hits you what the heck oh god i ran right into him again i was looking at your debuff asshole don't do that wait i didn't do this guy's quest i don't know if i have enough time he doesn't even have a quest did i do his quest i had to do his quest i don't remember uh let's go over here i don't even know how his quest is it every 10 quests he gives you like a big thing or a decently big thing some things aren't really big he gives you like a painting 
or a life preserver that ain't that big that's like oh thanks that's all that's all you said it's like a pity thanks it's like oh thank you man i appreciate it it's like when someone gives you a shitty gift yeah you guys know that feeling right unless you're a spoiled little brat and you don't get any shitty gifts nah everyone's have to everyone's had to have had gotten that's a lot of h words everyone has had to have gotten a shitty gift in their life come on if you haven't you ain't a regular human i'm sorry you're an alien an alien did i say that right the first time that's not that's not like i said alan you're an alan imagine me named alan <laughs> imagine being named that that's terrible I'm sorry for all my people named Alan out there. Alright, so we're looking for a big pit of lava. What even happened? Why am I back here? I'm really confused how I keep teleporting when... Okay, my teleport button is bounded or binded to the middle mouse button. And my finger wasn't even near the middle mouse button. Why would my finger be on the middle mouse button? I'm using left and right click right now. The only time I put it near the middle of mouse button is when I want to teleport home. So I don't know how I keep teleporting home. This shit got like a hair trigger. It's like, if I even think about it, it just clicks. Clicks. That was a weird noise my throat made when I said clicks. I really need a new mouse. That's something I want to buy. Hopefully I can buy that before I get fired from Ross. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's uh, open this up. So there's room to fish. And, uh, let's get you on my back. Ow. <laughs> Wait, it's not even gonna matter, is it? What is firing lava? Is there something in here? Firing lava? I don't know. I don't think he can fish in lava. Well, I have a fire rod, so wouldn't he... Crusty star? Wouldn't he be able to fish in lava? Yeah. <laughs> Can't fish in lava. That's nice. Nice enough. What are these fireballs? It has to be my rod, yeah. Or the bobber. It definitely is. Because I can see all of it just like shooting out from it. Dude, what the fuck's going on here? Come on. Cough it up. Cough it up. Nothing. Alright, sweet. Let me do something real quick here. Just gonna do some, uh. Some quick adjustments so we can catch everything. Put my rod. He, no, he put his bobber on top of my bobber. I was going to say I put it on his, but I'm the one who fishes first. What an asshole, right? Come on, sapling. Stay on your own side. We're supposed to be working together here, not trying to have a fight. All right, so I don't know how hard it is to catch this fish, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out right now. What are these crusty stars? Hold up. They fall and start. Crusty with obsidian. <laughs> to be used in extracting it. Interesting. Red herring. Hold up. This is not a good situation to be in. We're over a lava, dude. Come on. Can't you can't you do something else? I gotta make this lava pit bigger, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, I was chilling, listening to music. We done got it. Obsidian swordfish. 70 damage? Oh my god, hold up. My inventory's really full. Keep catching scorch bones from Thorium? What the heck? That makes me think, is there something from Thorium here? There might be something from Thorium in here. I might have to sit here a little bit longer. Maybe a montage? I don't know. Do we do we wanna Yeah fuck it? Let's do a montage. To the montage! I'm gonna end the episode off here. Goodbye.